been a bit since we've given an update on the GOAT project. And we're going to skip over some of those videos to publish this short test and tune session at the Lebanon Valley Dragway. The Colt is now a street legal daily driver with a stock 4G63 swap out of a 1G DSM and now on a set of Mickey Thompson ET street drag radials. This car has the potential to be a real drag racing monster. Here's a little disclaimer about the day. Temperatures were well into the 90s and humidity was out of control. These are far from ideal track conditions. However, if the times prove to be good now, they will only get better with cooler fall temperatures. A few mechanical kinks revealed themselves during this practice session, such as non-functioning tachometer, a misadjusted clutch, and a speed sensor that ended up registering zero miles per hour. This resulted in the need for seat of the pants shifting, based on speed and feel. The first run came in at 15.321 seconds at a top speed of 89.98 miles per hour for the quarter mile. Max boost was in third gear at 17.4 pounds and tapered off just above 14. The second gear shift was missed and eagerly awaiting a first pass off the trailer, we forgot to lower the tire pressure. We waited 20 minutes for the engine to cool down a bit, then we went again. Only this time we adjusted the tire pressure down to about 12 psi. Run 2 came in at 14.877 seconds at 91.58 miles per hour. Max boost peaked at 18.1 psi in third gear, tapering down again to 14 psi. This was a clean pass that felt good. There were no missed shifts, no knock, but the intake temperatures were showing to be higher than ideal. The maximum recorded was 169 degrees F. Reviewing the data log, it was apparent that the lower portion of the fuel table was too rich for this low of boost levels, and some adjustments were made to the VE table to attempt to bring AFRs back from 10.5 to a solid 11.0. Run 3 was 15.064 seconds at 91.15 miles per hour. Boost was trending to be consistent with previous passes, however on this run the 2-3 shift was missed. Run 4 was the best time of the night, forming a 14.857 at 92.44 miles per hour. There were a few issues here. Firstly, first gear was hitting a rev limiter which was triggered by a bad clutch switch signal to the ECU. This showed the computer that the clutch was slightly pressed in, resulting in a 5,000 RPM rev limit. This issue appeared to sort itself out for the remainder of the gears, but it was evident that there is room on the table for faster times. After that run, we disabled the no lift to shift function to eliminate the potential unexpected rev limiter and adjusted the clutch in hopes that it would help with the missed shifts. An impending thunderstorm was on the horizon, but we attempted to get another two runs in, but those didn't reveal any successes, just a few more gremlins. 
On run 5 and 6, the ECU was now no longer registering speed, which in turn enabled another form of the rev limiter. This tricked the ECU into a rev limit, which was actually that of launch control. This was bad, and just crushed any further chances of a better elapsed time, since we could now no longer exceed 4,750 RPM in any gear at any speed. And that's when the track abruptly closed for the night, due to lightning strikes nearby and the impending thunderstorm. Overall, I would call this a good learning experience to help with some bugs, and was able to begin dialing in the Colt for future quarter mile runs. We are planning on coming back soon, with the first goal of beating the previous best record of 13.9 from October of 2015. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button to follow this or one of our many other projects.